Every night, you rest your head on a pillow and sleep. As you lie dormant, your body takes the opportunity to repair damaged muscles, recharge spent fuel, process waste, and sort all the thoughts and memories that entered your brain that day. Sleep is so important that without enough, your physical and mental health can begin to deteriorate over time, leaving you tired and cranky, or worse yet, sick. Sleep is equally important in places like Yosemite National Park. Everything from oaks to bears require the prolonged period of dormancy ushered in every year by winter. Wild animals begin to migrate, hibernate, and hunker down as both leaves and temperatures begin to drop. Even park visitors begin to retreat for a spell as snowshoes become more useful than hiking boots. Yosemite seemingly falls asleep. Like our bodies though, much is happening in the park during this long winter's nap. The thick deposits of ice and snow that coat Yosemite store water that'll be necessary during the long dry months ahead. Cold temperatures force the seasonal retreat of insect pests, like the pine bark beetle, that might otherwise threaten the health of the forest. And trails, campgrounds, and picnic areas recover slowly from the stress of the busy summer visitor season. Increasingly though, Yosemite is becoming sleep deprived. The park is now experiencing shorter, warmer winters that bring less snow. And as the park's winter slumber diminishes, so do the benefits we've grown accustomed to. Less snow in winter leaves the park parched in summer, with consequences for everything from waterfalls to wildlife to wildfire. Longer periods of warmth allow pine bark beetles to reproduce and spread more readily, resulting in the loss of trees and forest. And the earlier arrival of spring lengthens the visitor season, leaving trails and campgrounds less time to recover. Like Yosemite, national parks across the American West are feeling similar effects from less winter sleep. And though the long-term implications might keep us lying in bed awake at night, the story of Yosemite provides hope. We've learned a great deal since its protection as one of the first national parks in the world. And over the years, we've learned to lessen our own impact and have even helped to return imperiled species like the peregrine falcon, bighorn sheep, yellow-legged frog, and others to Yosemite. Our past provides numerous examples of success in protecting the places we love. Can we rise to the challenge again? How can we ensure that Yosemite enjoys the winter slumber it needs to rest and recover in the years ahead? Can you picture it?